Butterflies in my tummy. Ooh, I, I joke. butterflies. I joke. How's how's the packing? It's going good. Packing my formal shirt. Ooh, yeah. a formal shirt. The club. I thought you don't like dressing up. Popping my booty. Ooh. Such skills. Getting us pulled over and shit because of lighter. Great start, man. Good job, bro. I'm just here at the airport now. Trying to get a plug for Japan. So many different ones, it's crazy. There he is over there. We've got a little bit of weight here. And then eventually we will cross over to Amsterdam and then connect to Osaka. So yeah, in a bit. Finally leaving Manchester. It's great because I'm tired of this airport. World's most boring airport. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Now we're going to um, Amsterdam. So I'll be signing out for now. Peace. Boring airport. Of course, you know which airport I'm talking about. <laughs> Manchester, of course. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to transfer now to our international flight. And if we um, if we have a bit of time left over, we'll have a look around and hopefully it will be more fun than <laughs> Manchester was. Wear my hat as well. So cool, bro. But, yeah. So, if we have a bit of time, we'll have a look around and I will probably video something then. Okay then, so, we ended up having some time, oh, just no. under an hour, and we found a sushi place. Look, look at this guy, <laughs> what vlogging while I'm vlogging. What's he doing? What, you mean? what oh, is he doing? You, man. But, um, yeah, so. He's got some miso and everything. I got some you got this here. weird drink, huh? It's coconut drink, something yeah, like that. Yeah, coconut water. Bro, quiet, man. You quiet, bro. <laughs> I'm recording right now. I'm going to get myself some ramen in there. Got the sauce and everything here. Vegetable ramen. Pam, 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 pam. Yeah, give me Japanese green tea. So. Oh, yeah. Show me inside, like. That looks good, though. I won't lie. Yeah, we're just going to... Um, Eat this quickly as well. I don't want to be late for the plane. That's the last thing I want to do. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to eat this. Head to the plane. Head to Osaka. Hopefully, we'll have a nice flight. Uh, yeah, so. See you guys later. is fucking tired and I've got a little story to tell you why we've had possibly one of the worst experiences you could have had but we didn't have it we almost had it but um yeah so as soon as we get back to the apartment this one yeah. I'll do a video about it yeah that one I think, it, I think it's a green tea yeah it's green tea oh so, yeah that's how soon tea On my brothers, we some kings Million dollar visions, we need million dollar dreams Cooking in the kitchen, cause my mama gotta eat Fuck it, we ain't picky, boy, this how it gotta be It's just how we live Said all my brothers
Cause yeah. we some kings Million dollar visions We need million dollar rings Can't forget my sisters They some motherfucking queens Even if we trippin' We ain't begging for a thing Fuck all of that shit Cause all my brothers We some kings Okay, so it's about 2 a.m. Uh, Tokyo time, and that is, I think, maybe like 6 p.m. English time. So, right, basically, I haven't done a video in a while because we had a big problem. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, so I was on about something that happened. Uh, I'll explain it now. So, we um, obviously got the flight from Amsterdam to Osaka. It was alright, like uh, it was 20 minutes delayed, which I didn't think would be much of a problem at the time. Uh, but it ended up being an, nearly a big problem. What happened was, when we touched down in Osaka, the uh, queues for immigration were like quite long. So we ended up like queuing for like almost um, an hour. Maybe, maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. But anyway. So when we finally came to our point in the immigration, uh, the immigration officer was being a bit long with me anyway, checking my passport and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't think that would be a problem. So we got our baggage and we were about to go to a transfer to Tokyo and so it just didn't seem right, like we, <laughs> we couldn't find our plane on the, uh, on the monitors or anything like that, on the information. Just cross for up. I'm not sure if you get done for jaywalking here. Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I to die already. <laughs> yeah, this is, looks really busy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so. Yeah, we couldn't find our plane on any of the TV screens. And it's like, oh, what the hell's going on here? So, Guy, which is a really good help today or yesterday, he starts asking. And then, um, so the woman at the information desk is like, oh, you're at a different airport. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, you're at the international airport. You need to go to the uh, domestic airport. It's like, all oh, right, okay. So how, how do we get there? She's like, oh, there's a free bus. It's like, oh, sick free bus. So, so she turns out to get there to the free bus. Um, so we, we show our like plane tickets and that. We get a free ticket and we're waiting for the bus. And it, this, at this point, like, what time was it? It was about like half 10. Half ten, so it was like half ten uh, in the morning, a.m. And we went for this bus, and and bear in mind our like plane is supposed to depart at twelve. So guys, like, hold on, let me just go and ask this woman like how long it'll take to get to this airport. And so he goes and asks, and then how how long did she say? She said an hour and twenty five minutes. So, yeah, <laughs> so an hour and twenty five minutes. So there was, there was no way we would be able to Make wait time. for a bus for forty minutes or half an hour, and also take an hour and 20 minutes to drive there so we were like shit we're gonna miss this fucking flight and if we miss the flight i don't know how the hell we'll get them back like it would have been a long maybe like a bullet train or even buy another ticket or something so anyway we got in a taxi and we were like yeah we need to go we need to go to itami airport quick so the taxi driver was quite uh, uh, useful and he uh he kind of knew what we were talking about straight away so then we yeah uh, we got in the uh that was a police car there. Was that police? Oh, that's a taxi. So yeah, we got in the uh, taxi and we were driving to Tammy Airport. And Guy checks on his phone how long it'll take. And it's like an hour and a half with, with light traffic. And there was light traffic, lucky for us. I'm like, what the hell? How far is this airport, right? Why would they build them so far away from each other? So anyway, we were in this taxi for like an hour, just driving quite fast as well. The good thing is we got to see like uh, most of Osaka. The sights are pretty good. The city is huge. I've never seen anything so big in my life. But yeah, the, we were just in the taxi. It was a very warm day as well, actually. And we were just looking, I was, I was looking at the meter and the meter kept going <laughs> up and up and up. I thought, oh, this taxi is going to cost us like 30 quid tops. Nah. So it was at the 5,000 range. Then it went to the 10,000 range. Oh, yeah. Shit. And then it went to the uh, 15,000 range. Yeah, just cross bro, I, I don't know where for this. And then, yeah, and then it got to 19,000 in the end, or was it 20,000 something? Yeah, 20, so 20,000 yen to get a taxi from Osaka International Airport to Osaka Domestic Airport. And 
That costs roughly in uh, English pounds. How much is that? 140. Pounds. 140 pounds for a fucking taxi. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know how I feel about it. Like I'm so pissed off. I'm, I'm pissed off that like we paid that much money, but I am happy that we actually made our flight because we did. A, we did in fact get there just on time. We had to like ask the late. Well, guy had to ask the lady to let us through a bit quicker because we would have been late otherwise. But yeah, like we just fucking checked our bags in. We got there and, and we just made it with, like within the minute to get on the plane. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I was very stressed. <laughs> I was stressed. I need the toilet. I am going to be late. I might, I might be stuck in Osaka. I can't understand a word anyone's saying. <laughs> but yeah. That was love. Yeah, and yeah, so fuck. But yeah, we, we done it. We got there. Everything was good in the end. But yeah, that, that's what happened. And like obviously because of that, I was just... With me being tired as well, I just wasn't in the mood to do a video or anything. I was kind of jet lagged. So yeah, we, we eventually, uh, we got to Tokyo, we looked around for a while, uh, we tried to find cigarettes for Guy, it was quite hard to be honest, mm -hmm. a lot harder than it would be in Europe to find cigarettes, but um, yeah, so from Tokyo airport, we were going to get the uh, metro, like, what is that noise? Oh, uh, ambulance or something? Uh, yeah, pardon me, so yeah, we, got, uh, we were going to get a... Uh, yeah, oh, ambulance, yeah. So we were, we were going to get a, a, a metro to our accommodation, our apartment, but we were just... <laughs> we were that, yeah, we, we were that stressed and tired. Couldn't be that silly with like the thousands of people in the metro. So. With, a, with two big suitcases yeah, two big as well. Suitcase as well so. so then we just got another taxi. <laughs> but it was a price we were willing to pay. Uh, but the taxi driver was really helpful. He took us, he took us on the Rainbow Sky Bridge as well, and I got some yeah. nice videos which I'm going to include in the vlog. Uh, and yeah, he was really helpful. Had a quick conversation, showed his family and stuff. And um, yeah, and he showed, and he took a picture of us and this and that with him. Uh, but yeah, when we got to around the apartments, we couldn't actually find where it was, and the, it, it, there was no like telltale signs or anything like that, because this is like. This is an apartment, I wouldn't say it's for gaijin for, and foreigners, it's mostly for like Japanese people. So he was running around with some lady trying to find out where this apartment was. If Honestly, if he didn't do that, I, I think we wouldn't have even known where the apartment was to be honest. So yeah, yeah. he done all that for us, and which was a, a real help. Did we, did we go down? No, it's not down there. Which was a real help for us. And um, yeah, so he basically saved our life because I was just too tired to even like... <laughs> concentrate to be honest so then we yeah we got there we took pictures we said goodbye we gave him a little bit of tip as well and uh so everything was good and then um yeah now we're in fucking tokyo guys yeah now we're here <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy it's overwhelming but we've as soon as we got into the apartment uh which i will do a video on actually when i get back but i'll have to be quiet because i think people are sleeping yeah after 10 o'clock that you have to be quiet yeah so yeah when we did get to the apartment uh, we just I slept and I think we got to the apartment about what time was it like three yeah yeah, three, yeah three. 3 p.m. Tokyo time and I slept all the way up oh. till oh, fucking 10 <laughs> no 11 wasn't it oh yeah 11 11 p.m. Yeah, 11 yeah 11 p.m. got a shower kind of unpacked a bit of my stuff and then we just ended up walking around this time of night and most of the shit was open this bit's kind of dead though but we are like half 2 a.m. in the morning yeah, so we just ate, and we ate somewhere where you could <laughs> actually smoke inside the restaurant. Yeah, which was fucking crazy. But I'm... you can't use your phone inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the sign saying you're allowed to smoke after a certain time, but the signs also saying no phones. No phones. <laughs> <laughs> which is good because it's it's. I hate the fact that where we're from, in England anyway, you go to restaurants and shit, and everyone's just on the phone. No one's talking to each other. Yeah, but anyway, what, what they're trying to do like, is actually to create an atmosphere where people actually talk to each other, yeah, you know, yeah. focus on what they're doing on Facebook and shit like that. So yeah, that's, that's right. pretty good. Yeah, so I'm just going to stop babbling right now. We're just going back to the uh, apartment. We're going to try and get some sleep, adjust my body to Tokyo's time, and then hopefully wake up tomorrow morning and I might do another video. We'll see. I need to get a selfie stick as well, actually, so I can. Yeah, same. I need to do that shit. Hold it out more. But yeah. 
So that's what happened t uh, today or yesterday. It was fucking stressful. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have no more bullshit like that ever again. But uh, you know, it's a fucking story to tell, isn't it? So anyway, I'm going to be off now. So see you next time. Peace.